This video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. That is an insane amount of snow. I mean, I'm not even to the ground yet. It says it's supposed to start snowing at five now, so I don't know why they keep pushing it back. It's kind of annoying. I mean, I thought I was indecisive. Weatherman, he's even worse. So this is the city of Golden, Colorado, home of the Coors Banquet beer. Well, Coors in general, but Coors. It's right on the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. Keep right now the snow's just starting, so we have less than an inch on the ground. It's fairly safe for travel right now, especially with the truck of my capabilities. Big tires, lots of weight, I'm not super worried. Also, I live in Minnesota and driving in snow is not that scary. I'm actually trying to get away from the snow, but I'm not complaining because I actually, this is pretty. So we're driving 10 more miles and we're gonna see if we can find a camp spot. Just a boy, a giant truck, some snowy mountains, and some slush. What could go wrong? My truck is making some weird, weird noises right now. I don't know what's going on. Is it just from ice buildup, or what's going on here? Listen. You hear that? I'm just gonna tell myself that it's ice for now because there is a lot more ice in that control arm, so I guess it could just be the wheel rubbing on that. What is that noise, dude? What's up, dude? Do you know what's wrong with my truck? Dude, what is that noise? All right, so somewhere along my drive, I met this dude named Bad News. Uh, he actually stopped me on the side of the road while I was looking to see what the heck was wrong with my truck. And I was like, hey, your, uh, your blinker's out on your taillight. He uh, invited me to his 350 acres of wildlife preservation land. Man, was it gorgeous. This place is gorgeous. And it's so quiet. My new buddy, bad news, as you just saw in the car, uh, he helped me get my truck back in line and he found, or showed me rather, this beautiful piece of property. This is actually one of the cleanest forest, well, sorry, not one of the, it is the cleanest forest according to the state of Colorado. So how did I end up here? We got about, I don't know, eight inches of snow so far. Calling for about two to four feet. Perfect night to get cozy in the back of this place. All right, well, here we are. So right now we are in the mountains of Colorado. I think we have about 9,000 feet elevation right now. One thing that's super beautiful about this place, if the trees were enough, see that? No service. I'm gonna be alone with some books and my thoughts. It's always a nice, a nice refresher. What would a camping trip be without snacks, right? Picked these up the other day at the grocery store. I don't know how bad these are for you, but they're really tasty. And of course you got the classic Target Peanut Butter Monster Trail Mix. If you guys haven't tried some of the Target Trail Mix, I highly recommend. One of the coolest things about traveling on the road like this is like all the people that you meet. And it's funny because like, I'm usually more of an introverted person. Obviously like I do this, right? Like this is, this is my fun, fun version of a Saturday night. <laughs> it's been an awesome day that way. I mean, whenever I meet cool people like that, it just like kind of makes, makes my day, makes my week. Okay, I think I'm just gonna sit back here, maybe read a little bit, maybe take a nap. I don't know. It's still snowing out. Not that hard, but. Definitely still snowing. The other thing I noticed. You see what that is? Do you know what that is? Well, it's a tree. It'd be correct, but that's a giant elk rub. Some giant elk on this property, I would imagine.
me a couple months for dinner. I'm supposed to be using a pot, I think, but it does say saucepan, but it says to cover it, so I don't really have a cup. Well, I might. It's better than nothing, I guess. Aldi. Get this stuff at Aldi. Super good. Okay, no, never mind about this. This is not, that is not a scrape, I don't think. I think that they hit that when they were plowing. You can tell I'm an elk hunter. Oh, it's dark. If you're trying to be healthy, this is probably not the best meal. I looked at the box and it may or may not say that it has six servings in here and each serving has over 400 milligrams of sodium. And it is very salty, but it does taste super good. It's like 25 degrees outside right now. I've got the truck running, as you can maybe hear. But as always, carbon monoxide detector. Um, this is a low, a low carbon monoxide detector, so it, it'll detect small amounts of carbon monoxide. Anytime you're in a closed environment like this, camping, in a tent, in a fish house, have one of these. If you're gonna be running your truck, end up or and or a propane heater. I got sugar snap peas. I see you. I don't think it's snowing anymore. All right, it's not snowing very hard anymore. So it'll be interesting to see what it looks like in the morning. If you guys wanna check out these beanies or the hoodies they dropped not too long ago, I'm really proud of them. Um, check them out on mapmadeit.com. But anyway, it's time for me to go to bed. 25 degrees tonight, zero degree sleeping bag, we'll be good. Anyway. Oh, P.S. I don't know if you'd believe it unless I showed you, but I maxed that whole bag of <laughs> freaking snow peas. They're good. What can I say? All right, so I found Bespoke Post to be a great way to discover brands. Um, I actually bought a bunch of Christmas gifts for people off of their website this winter because I was a little lazy in trying to find cool products, and their website seemed to have it dialed. Bespoke Post offers a monthly subscription service for the outdoorsmen. Uh, every box that you get has at least $70 in value, but only costs 45 bucks. And the box lineup changes every single month. Bam. You can also exchange your box at any time or swap it out hassle-free. Well, if you guys want to check out Bespoke Post, um, they offer different types of boxes for whatever kind of outdoors person you are, whether you're a forager, a hunter, a survivalist. And they also have a lot of cool products on their website. So if you want to check it out, a link is going to be in the description. I also have a code, MAV20, that you can save 20% off on your first uh, mailbox order. So, yeah, check them out. So thanks again to them for sponsoring this video. Now let's uh, get back to our night stay in the truck. Well, got what we wished for, I guess. Just snowed in. Look at this. You're completely snowed in. I guess this is the moment of truth right here. Oh. Okay, that's a lot of snow. Yep, we're gonna shut this again. That's like three feet of snow. I have a feeling that these are not gonna be tall enough boots. This is how you can tell that I was not ready for snow, is because I didn't bring any boots taller than this. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> Dude. Okay, how are we gonna do this? This snow is so deep. Oh my god, bro. Are you serious? That is an insane amount of snow. 
I mean, I'm not even to the ground yet. It's like, I don't know, two feet, two and a half. Yeah, there's these boots are definitely not tall enough. Oh my. The snow goes up to my running board. Okay. I don't have my boots. Okay. Colorado mountains, man. Wait, what the heck? Is that a crack? That's a crack in my windshield, isn't it? Is that from the weight of the snow? Come on now. Okay, all right. So we're gonna move the car back and forth just to pack down some snow. All right, come on. We are in two feet, but. All right, so since it is snowing out so hard, it's uh, without saying that I'm gonna be cooking in here. Do have the window cracked open. When you're boiling eggs, put them in ice water right after. It helps the shell not stick to the egg. I'm just boiling some water for my oatmeal, and then I'll have breakfast. All right, now that looks a little better. They're perfect. Not bad for in the truck. All right, guys, well, that'll about do it for this episode. Um, probably gonna be stuck here for a couple more days, which is exactly what I wanted. Rather be here than in the city. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode. Until next time, my name is Maverick, and you're in the drill. Just keep on trucking.